Hey guys, Language Tracker here. By popular request, I'm going to be playing uh, Thaddeus Druid. I haven't played too much this patch, but uh, this deck looked kind of spicy. Um, and not really my kind of deck, because it's a little just high rolly. But uh, I believe people kind of uh, fleshed out what a better list should look like. So you can win even if you don't just have the, uh, the, the nuts. So let's go through the deck and talk about what this actually is. The main thing you want to be doing is playing Death Blossom Womper as fast as possible, which draws a Death Rattle minion and gains its Death Rattle. Now, if you go through the deck, you'll notice that the only Death Rattle minions we're running are the Flash Behemoths, which means that the Whomper will draw it from your deck and gain its Death Rattle. So that when the Whomper dies, the Death Rattle will proc, and you will draw some good stuff from your deck, which is either Mishmash Mosher or Thaddeus. And that seems like a lot of pretty good tempo to me. Uh, if you pull Thaddeus, excellent, cool. We get to do really fun stuff, because then everything's cheap and free, and then blah, blah, blah. And if you get the Mosher, then you just clean the board and play for tempo. Jailer's in here as well, because it gives you an ultra wood condition. Uh, I mean, Thaddeus is nice and all, but if Thaddeus gets removed, you still want some sort of follow-up. This does run Jailer. Uh, you still have like your Attorney at Mishmash Mosher for board clears. You want to be ramping when you can. And in terms of tech cards, ETC. Rivendare helps against control decks that can actually remove your big boards. When you play Rivendare, get the Horseman from your deck, play him and then you you win the game and Ozomat is also nice for board control it's slow because it's eight mana but with hedge maze which we can also use to trigger any other death rattles in the deck like this on turn five this proccing Ozomat will clear board immediately this proccing Rivendare will shuffle three extra things into your deck so even if the one on the board gets silenced you will still have three more so yeah use hedge maze appropriately otherwise mulligan for ramp and if you can uh death blossom whomper that's the deck here's some cool games don't forget to like comment and subscribe Okay. Aquatic form can help me find the exact stuff I want. I don't actually mind keeping the aquatic form. I'm gonna check some stats real quick to see uh, how things look. I'm also gonna update, uh, fix my deck tracker because it's not showing up. Interview is actually pretty high on the uh, mulligan win rate. Aquatic form is not super high, which I could kind of see. Let's try this. Innervate's is probably a lot worse on coin. It is a lot worse on coin. I'm tempted not to keep the innervate. That, that is not going to happen. Let's try this. Full mulligan. Oh, we have our Whomper. We're against another druid. Who I believe he's playing the same deck. Kind of spicy too. Ooh, nourish. Okay. And now we just need another ramp card. <laughs> Powerful. Look, we're both playing here a power druid. I could ship the aquatic from here, but there's nothing that can ramp with, that I can ramp with on turn two, so I'm just gonna hear power pass. I have two things I can do next turn. I can just aquatic form to try and get exactly wild growth or hedge maze, which would actually be very powerful, or I can coin and then aquatic uh, aquatic form, which still leaves me the three mana cards, but it also means I can hit seedsman. However, now I just drew hedge maze, so I don't actually care about aquatic forming because this is going to be more powerful. I can play Hedge Maze, I can coin out the Whomper, and then activate the Whomper's Death Rattle immediately. With both Flesh Behemoth still in the deck, it will activate. Oh boy. Impanizado is ramping. But I will be tempoing. Unlucky. We didn't get the Jailer. However, we still have two undead things left in the deck, so even when this dies, we could still get a Thaddeus. And come on, let's be real. Look at this. Look at this tempo. This card's kind of cool. If I draw Innervate, I might do this over Nourish. <gasps> did you just see what they did they they took our thing uh do i even care to aquatic growth here better question is am i even playing wild growth am i just shipping an etc for tempo because that's kind of spicy i don't even have to play the aquatic growth i can just play wild growth for this uh, the thing is i kind of want to ramp But I could just go... So this is always happening. I 
I think I just want to ramp. I could try to find Seedsman, which is a bit better. Innervate actually lets me go Innervate Nourish, which is a bit more powerful. Than the than the uh, than the wild growth because I need to ramp a bit faster than that. Very nice. Now it's it's important to note that in the mirror your opponent can go mishmash mosher, and attorney at maw and full clear board. Ugh. So it doesn't matter how big my board is; it could just get cleared by a two card combo. So I need to focus not just on the initial tempo, which is still good to have because if they don't have that, they will start losing. But if they do have that, I need to have a long-term game plan, which does mean I need mana. A lot, it's fine. Edge Mace to get some armor. I'm happy to see that, because it means he's uh, given up some power here for, for health. It means if he draws a death rattle, it doesn't go off immediately. Oh, this was such a bad draw. I can just play my own Kolok. If I play this, it will spawn the Mishmash Mosher. And it'll draw it as well. There's a lot of damage face. I'm kind of okay with that. Kind of sucks that we drew the, the Thaddeus, but it's okay. This could go poorly. Yeah, did not go poorly. Oh! I kind of thought it might work like that. I was, was really hoping it wouldn't, though. That's okay. Stealing a mana from them at this point it doesn't really help me too much. So I think I'd rather just play uh, my own tempo card. Also has taunt, so it protects the uh, Mishmash Mosher here. I could have prevented that from happening if I wanted to, but then I would get less face damage. And I think the face damage is actually relevant, because at any point they could just clear my board. Oh, wow. Well, plus 7 is 19. I think I'm supposed to get a corner here and freeze that. I could alternately do the Ozumat. Does freezing that actually help me? Not really. I think I actually take the Ozumat here. I don't need two mana crystals, so I'll just do this. Now the question here is, do I actually swing this? I think I do, because it gives me seven damage. I lose the minion, but the damage actually matters a bit more right now. The reason I wanted the Ozumat here is because if he clears my board, now he clears the board just with a Mishmash Mosher. And if he clears the board, I'm going to want a way to clear his board. And this is the only way my deck can deal with immune minions, right? I mean, I could put taunts in the way until, you know, they fatigue, but this is what I need to do, I think, to win. To win most of the time. Freezing the Jailer is okay, but if they have a Mishmash Mosher, then the Jailer freeze doesn't matter at all because they full clear the board because the mishmash mosher is immune gets a little worse if they have mishmash mosher and the fanboy because then the heal does not look like they have the mishmash mosher means i think they just died Nice. So we didn't hit the Omega Hyrule with Thaddeus, but we had a nice curve, right? Hedge Maze into Coin, uh, into Coin, Death Blossom, Wamper just put us ahead that game. So that was a, a pretty good example of how you high roll with this. And even after we had that, we focused on what our late game plan would kind of look like, even if, you know, they happened to deal with a high roll. Which is very good. That's a bit more matchup specific, because against some other decks, we could just all in on board and then we would win. Um, but this deck does have a way to come back against that. So we had to keep that in mind. I want to keep Hedge Maze and Seedsman, which means on turn two I play Seedsman, then on turn three I play Hedge Maze. So I'm actually going to keep the Innervate. Otherwise, the mana doesn't really line up. I'd have to go Hedge Maze on three and then Seedsman on four, which is like okay, but not really what I want. Let's try this. It's a bit of a, it's a weird curve because it relies on me drawing something else to do, but uh, this should help me most of the time. 
that draws me more ramp, which means I can just play big stuff very quickly. Or it draws nourish, which means I could refill as well if I need to. Okay. Time grows short. Ooh. Seedsman on two. Hedge maze on three. Whomper on four. Very nice. Do you see? Very nice. I haven't spent a lot of time on this board, actually. Cool. Well, I really hope I don't draw the... I could pre-bump here, but they're just going to hit back into it, so I don't think I do. If I'm proccing the Whomper, I'm likely to get a Mishmash Mosher. And that'll just clear the board, and I can go face with my Seedsman. Or it'll pull Jailer. Oh, sorry, not Jailer, Thaddeus. Anyways, the reason this is a scary draw is because now if I draw the other Behemoth, my Whomper doesn't do anything, because I don't have any other Death Rattles in the deck. Um, I can still just ramp up and play big stuff, but... It's, it's definitely a weaker game plan than immediately having <laughs> very big things on the board. We're hoping not to draw. Looks like it's big. Okay. Um, nice. We didn't draw the thing. So let's do this. Okay, there is a chance they can't clear this. It defies reason. There's a chance they can't clear this, but uh, six damage is apparently impossible to do, and thus we win the game. Very nice. Cool. Let me know what other kind of decks you guys want to see, and uh, I'll do my best to give you a five-minute uh, thingy on it. App climbing.